Russia has been slammed with many sanctions. However, some are stranger than others. The International Cat Federation's board has announced that it will not register any cat bred in Russia in its pedigree books, nor will they allow cats belonging to Russian exhibitors from entering the International Cat Federation show. They also clarified that the restrictions are valid until the end of May. And while the IPC banned Russian Paralympic athletes from participating in the Beijing 2022 Paralympic Winter Games, Entertainment Arts removed the Russian team from their FIFA 2022 and their NHL 2022 games in a show of solidarity. The Greva Museum had a similar idea. The museum removed the wax statue of Vladimir Putin from the collection. The director of the museum, Yves Delemo, explained, saying, We have never represented dictators like Hitler at the Greva Museum. We do not want to represent Putin today. Some sanctions, however, were inexplicable. Earlier this week, the Canadian Prime Minister announced that Canada would no longer be importing oil from Russia. In the same statement, he went on to add that Canada had imported minimal amounts of oil, as the country itself is one of the top global producers. Stranger still, Nike stopped their online shopping service in Russia. However, customers could still purchase the products from the physical stores. That was until trade restrictions came into play, forcing the company to close its stores along with other retailers like IKEA. The sanctions have extended to restaurant recommendations. Michelin announced Friday that they would be suspending their recommendations in Russia, making it one of many entities pressuring Russia in hopes of halting the war and stopping the invasion.